All right, now it's time to test Apex triggers. All right. So on this video, we are going to discuss on how we can test Apex triggers. Okay, let's just go ahead and um, run through the steps here. And I will explain as we go. So first off, we have to create a trigger. This trigger. So let's just copy the trigger name, account deletion. All right. So we are just going to create this trigger together. So I'm going to pop up my hands on org, my playground. And then I'm going to go to my developer beginner and pop up my developer console. Okay, gear icon and then developer console, pop that up and close all the previous classes we have from the previous trailhead and I'm going to make a new trigger, all right, a new trigger. It's called account deletion on account, on the account object and hit submit. Oh, we already have that. Let's open that then. File, probably from the previous one, okay? Or not new, I'm going to open file, open resource, account deletion account deletion apex trigger here so prevent the deletion of accounts if they have related opportunities awesome we actually already have that all right so you would have that as well if you have been following me along from the previous trails so we have the trigger here um, we have explained it let me explain it again basically we are going to check for account Make it a variable from account data type and then you do a circle, select the ID from the account object where ID in, ID of the account, ID of the account in, select account ID from opportunity. So meaning the account has an opportunity, right? And the account ID is in trigger.old. Why do we use old? Because it's checking the, the account that is going to be deleted. That's why it's going to be using the old trigger.old. Okay. So if there is something, we say cannot delete account with related opportunity. That is the trigger in itself. Now we are going to create the test. Now, adding um, and running a unit test. Okay, let's copy this test account deletion. I'm going to copy that, flip back to my developer console, file new. What is a test? It's a class, okay? A test is always a class. So Apex class, the name of it, test account deletion. All right, hit okay. And I'm going to copy the whole code from trailhead, flip back here and paste that and talk about it with you. So this is a task class. Let me save it. So saving it, making sure the star is not there here. Star, that's quick. So it's a task class. It's a private class and the name is task account deletion. All right. So this is the method. It's a static returning void method called test, account, test delete account with one opportunity. So basically, we first create an account. This is where we create a test account. Account object, the variable name is ACCT equals new account instantiated. The name of it, test account, and then just insert the account. And then we are going to create an opportunity. Opportunity, object, the variable name is op, OPP equals new opportunity instantiated and, and fill, up, fill up the fields, okay? The, the name is account.name, which is the name of the account, acct.name, acct here, dot name. 
and then plus with a space opportunity. The stage name is prospecting. The close date is today. System dot today, and at one month. So so the next month of the same day date. Okay, and the ID link it to the of the new account we just created here. ACCT dot ID account ID of the opportunity is this one which we just created acct.id okay and then go insert the opportunity all right so this is not bulkified okay i repeat this is not bulkified so but this is just a simple test so let's go on, go on and, and 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 proceed with what trailer had presented us so test start test this test will start from here and then stop here so this means when we say to uh, Salesforce, this, the, the test starts from here, okay? And not from the beginning here. So everything we do here, right? is not going to be counted toward governor limit. It's gonna be reset it whenever, when it's here. So if we perform one cycle here, right? We perform once, uh, no, we, we didn't perform any cycle. We perform um, one DML here, two DML here, data manipulation, manipulation language the DML but when we say the start st the, the test starts from here the DML limit becomes zero again okay so that's why we are doing that so we we won't hit a limit and then we verify we do is assert system dot assert um, basically in this case uh, verify in this case the deletion should have been stopped by the trigger so verify that we got back an error so we want to make sure this test opportunity no this test account with an opportunity so this account has an opportunity right and we are trying to delete it right delete acct right and then it should not allow it so assert with an exclamation point so is success is is ne ne negated negated okay so it's not with an exclamation point is not a success is it a success is not so it should be not a, it should it should be unsuccessful this one is the same thing basically is the same thing saying in a different way try assert does it have an error? Is the error size greater than zero? Yes. So you can just do one. It's fine. You don't have to do this. This will be fine. Okay. But Trailhead wants to show us there's many ways that you can do in Salesforce. This is the same result as this. So you can also do it like this. System assert. Result has errors, so get errors dot size is greater than zero. It has errors or equals the result errors get message. The message is cannot delete account with related opportunities. This is from this trigger because when, when it has an error, it's going to say cannot delete account with related opportunities. So this is also the same thing. So this three is checking the same thing. You don't have to do it three times like this. You can just do it like one time like that. It should be fine as well, okay? So I'm gonna save that. So basically that is the trigger and let's run the test, okay? We are going to run the test here after this got saved. Come on, did I hit save? I think I did. Let me save it again. Yeah, it's still saving here. Okay, now let's run the test, boom. Okay, we got a pass there, there, and and we can check the account deletion trigger here. It's a hundred percent, right? So you can double click on it, make sure all is blue. Okay, so it's executed, it's one hundred percent. So our test is good. All right, so that's basically it. If I flip back to the trail, so basically, um. That's how you conduct a test on a trigger. All right, so next on, we are going to do the hands-on challenge on a separate video, okay? 
test apex triggers this one on a separate video and i'll see you on the next video hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom <laughs>